I'm revving I'm great, just protecting my investment Ask about me, integrity's not a question Ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for bout number three on the amateur card Making his entrance and fighting out of the red corner he is trained in Boing, Bang Muay Thai and 10th Planet Jiu Jitsu, representing Circle City Martial Arts and Fitness, weighing in at 185.6 pounds, with a record of two wins and one loss. From Indianapolis, Indiana, Jason Judy Pie Carter! His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Barker's BNK Blue Corner, is a freestyle fighter representing Journey Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, weighing in at 182.7 pounds, making his debut this evening from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Gabe Larson! <laughs> your referee. All right, folks, we're set for fight three here tonight. Referee Rob Madrigal is about to get us going. Jason Cutie Pie Carter in the American flag trunks. Gabe Larson in the black and gold. We're set to go. Carter did not want to touch gloves. He just wants to get down to business. Both guys trying to use that link here to fill each other out. As Cutie Pie motions for Gabe Larson to come on. Spinning back kick and a miss by Cutie Pie Carter there. Ate a little right hand, nothing crazy, but it did send his hair offline. Cutie Pie with a missed one, two. As Gabe Larson fires back with the right body kick. Both guys just staying just out of range, just enough to not get hit with the big stuff, but a lot of it's almost connecting, so. One more step into the range, and both of them will have a better chance of landing the bunches they're looking for. Cutie Pie is showing a little bit of a sneak peek of some angles he cut there as he threw a spinning back kick again, and now some punches to the face. He's landing some nice leg kicks too. You saw already seeing some redness on his leg. Gabe Larson with redness all over his face right now. A little, little bit of urgency now in his punches, it seems. Yeah, he's definitely starting to feel the pressure of being in here. 0-0, 2-1, it's a big gap between having three fights and having zero. It's a different ball game when you get in front of the fans. Jason Cutie, Pie Carter, Carter definitely using that experience's advantage, but that didn't help him with that one too that landed on his chin. Oh, nice right hand. He's just stalking right now. He's got his hands down and he's like, I can't tell if he's talking, but it looks like he's just mouthing off. Firing some hard kicks there. Yeah, his leg is right in front of us. That is, his left leg is getting eaten up. Larson is going to have to walk a little bit off tomorrow. Gabe Larson needs to find an answer for that leg kick as Cutie Pie Carter continues to stalk him down here in round one. He definitely has more of a boxing stance. He's keeping his front leg way out so he can sit behind a long-range jab, but he's fighting somebody who's got as much reach as he does, and I don't know if he's prepared for that. Well, he told us his game plan was super top secret. I don't know if he's implored it yet, just yet, or if it's still top secret. Yeah. I mean, the That's secret's the out. Right you need to learn how to check a leg kick, buddy. There you go. You can see he definitely needs to learn that the redness developing all over that leg right now as Cutie Pie continues to chop all over that leg. Yeah, and he's having a lot more trouble basing on it. If, if, every kick there at the end of the round is buckling that knee forward. He's got to give with it, and that's just going to lead to more follow-up strikes or a takedown potentially. Go to our replay here by on-site services. There he goes upstairs with that kick. The same, same motion that he was leading into with his leg kicks, but he brought it up. One See that backup jab Vanessa. right there that landed right on the chin of Gabe Larson. Kind of staggered him a little bit. Yeah, Larson seemed to have a little bit of trouble getting off. 
uh, maybe it's because he's not used to having somebody who's able to like stay at the same range as him because when they're at range, Carter's the one landing from outside and Larson's going to have to come back from the corner this round and figure out a little bit of a different strategy because his legs getting eaten up and the more dominant punches were landed by Lar or Carter. We shall see if Coach Chris Hubbard has helped Larson adapt here to enter round two. As Cage Man has us locked and ready to go. Again, Kitty Kapari right to that leg kick. Yeah, he comes out straight with two right off the bat. And then he goes up higher. Cage. Gabe Larson obviously wearing the red tattoos that has been all over the gun of Cutie Pie Carter. Nice right hand there by Carter. Cutie Pie Carter's really starting to unload on him this round. He's really picked up the intensity. Yeah, and if you watch when he throws those leg kicks, Larson's bringing his hands down. He's going to start looking to go upstairs real soon, I bet. Jason Carter using those leg kicks to bring the hands down of Gabe Larson. Looking for a big punch upstairs. As he does eat a right hand from Gabe Larson right there. But it, he has ate some punches, but it doesn't seem to affect him much, Dan. Yeah, he, he seems to just keep coming forward. He's not minding it much, and then he comes right back in with that leg kick. I wouldn't be surprised to see Larson switch stances because he's, like, picking that leg up way early now, and he's getting kicked in his back leg. He's definitely going to have to switch something as he ate another hard right hand right there. And by picking his feet up off the floor, he's not able to set and throw his punches. So now your opponent doesn't have to worry about much. He's Dan got Head, look at the, oh, oh man, look at the welts on the leg. Yeah, we it, both know what he's going to walk like it, tomorrow. It, he's it, not going to walk. Right. <laughs> it's, it's bad. His leg is getting eaten up, and he's not switching stances, and he's not checking kicks. He's Just picking his leg up in advance before a kick is even thrown, but then when he puts it back down, he's getting kicked right in it. Just over a minute left here in round number two of what has been an excellent fight, heavy on the side of Jason Cutie Pie Carter and his strikes. Yeah, there's nothing cute about his leg anymore. Cutie Pie's eating that thing up. Cutie Pie Carter, you gotta think that he's gonna continue to eat that leg to finish out this round here as long as he plays it safe and doesn't eat one of these big punches from Gabe Larson. Yeah, Larson's coming in a little bit wild and looking for a takedown because he's just had enough. He can't fight at range, and he's like, okay, it's time to close the distance. Cutie Pie Carter's having none of it, though. He just shrugs him off and starts throwing him back to the head. Cutie Pie Carter continues to stalk Gabe Larson here. 20 seconds left in round two with utmost confidence. Just, oh. he, he knows he's coming in hard for you. You can see it. Short time left here in round two as Gabe Larson eats a bunch of punches. Larson's gonna have to find a way to set his feet and answer back because right now, Cutie Pie is just stalking, throwing what he wants, and until he gets answered, he is gonna continue to just stalk and throw what he wants. That's exactly what he did there in round two. We move to our replay, brought to, brought to you by Cottingham Concrete. Nice job bringing it upstairs on that one. And then there you see, he he is just not wanting to deal with those leg kicks now to the point that it's taken away all of his offense. So hard on the leg kicks there was Jason Carter working to set up what you could only think is gonna be some heavy bombs here in round three. Yeah, Carter, if he comes out hard, he can eat that leg up and possibly get a decision. Uh, shout out to our ring girl, Vanessa. She's doing a fantastic job here tonight, and she got us ready to go for round three, but I, I don't know how he's going to be able to stand for a full round if he keeps getting his leg eaten up. He's going to have to switch stances, shoot for a takedown, or just get in tight enough that he can use that round boxing. Three. See if he can get in tight, like you said, Dan Hendricks. We are off to set in round three, Coliseum Combat 55, and our third fight here tonight. Yeah, it's been a great couple first rounds. Oh, wow, Cutie Pie's just going in for a takedown. I did not see that. 
immediately takes him down and takes his back. PewDiePie Carter seemingly wants to put a stamp on this fight here at the early in round three. He's got a rear naked, it's coming in deep. One hook in, tight on the neck is PewDiePie Carter. There he gets over. the tap. Two and a half minutes left in round three. Jason Cutie Pie Carter, after two rounds of beating up the leg and the face of Gabe Larson, shoots in for the takedown, takes the back, and gets the rear naked choke, Dan Head. Yeah, he told you. I think I've got the advantage on the ground. Well, he stood up and just beat him up like he was a heavy bag for a while. And then he's like, okay, third round, 30 seconds later, I'm going to take you down and finish it. It was an impressive, impressive performance here from Carter. Very impressive performance by Jason Cutie Pie Carter. And no disrespect to Larson. I mean, he came out. He's good. He's got the range. But he's going to have to work on his stance a little bit. He's got it so open that if you're not able to check kicks, you're going to have to do something because that man's leg is bad. Hamburger meat. And that's one of the disadvantages of fighting a guy at the reach advantage of Cutie Pie Carter there, it's hard to prepare for that reach. So when you meet somebody that has the same reach as you, you, you gotta adapt. So. Yeah, they're both pushing 80 inches in reach and they're 185, so they, they're they both used to being the longer guy, I'm sure, in the gym. Mm. I mean, this is Gabe's first time fighting in a cage and he looks devastated, but we man. We most likely see more out of Gabe Larson. Watch for that kid to be back in the Coliseum Combat Cage, but for now, Let's go to Brady L. Davis for our official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, at 32 seconds in the third round, your referee, Rob Madrigal, calls the stop to the action. Your winner this bout by tap out due to rear naked choke, Jason Cutie Pie! 